Mm -hmm. Good evening. Good evening. How's everybody doing tonight or this afternoon? Ready, doing great. You guys, ready for some powerful ministry time? Awesome, awesome. Our our team is very excited. So we are going to. Um, open up with prayer, but we do want to welcome you. Thank you so much for being here tonight, and we want to just acknowledge God's presence yes, here with Lord. us. He's already here. Amen. Amen. We don't Amen. have to ask him to be here. He's already here. Amen. And uh, just to acknowledge his presence, and once again, thank you for being here. So, Father, we just want to thank you tonight for this opportunity for us to come together and to worship you, Lord, with everything that we say and do, Lord. Let, let it be an act of worship. Let it be uh, bringing glory and honor to you, Lord, tonight. For you alone are worthy. And so, Lord, we just want to thank you for your presence here with us. I thank you for each person who is here tonight. Lord, I just pray that your blessings and your favor would flow into our hearts and into our uh, lives, Lord, and, and to make a, an eternal impact for your glory. In Jesus' name, amen. 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 Embassy International, we kindly request that you take a moment to silence your phones to ensure an uninterrupted experience for yourself and those around you. Your cooperation is greatly appreciated. We hope that the story unfolds and resonates with you in a profound way. May you discover the hope, peace, and joy that only Jesus can offer. This evening, we are delighted in presenting the theatrical performance, The Hope of Christmas. Enjoy the show.
Good morning. Merry Christmas. What's good about it? Well, every day is a gift from God. If you're still breathing, you have a chance to obtain his mercy and see all the wonderful things he's done. You want to give me a gift? How about a win the lottery ticket? That would be good. <laughs> That'd be nice if it doesn't work that way. Um, would you like a cup of coffee? Yeah, yeah, yeah I'll, I'll take a coffee. Okay. Um, let me go in here and get the coffee going. Oh, do you want me with it? Yeah, 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 that'd be good, yeah. Okay, be right back. Everything have to die on a cross. 
Well, do you know the story of Adam and Eve? Is that the story where they eat from an apple and they're naked? Well, girl, that's only part of it. You see, Adam and Eve lived in the Garden of Eden, and in that garden was the tree of knowledge of good and evil, and God commanded them to never eat from that tree. But they disobeyed him. And when they did that, sin came in and separated us from God. And that was never his original plan. But he had a plan established. Jesus Christ said, I will be that sacrifice. So he came down from heaven, died on that cross, so that we could be free. Oh no, we have five minutes to get back to the office. <sighs> but when you come back from your trip, I'll go to church with you. Wait, for real? Don't act so surprised. I used to go to church with my mom but it's just been so hard to go ever since she passed. Oh my gosh, I didn't know your mom passed away. Don't worry about it, it's been a long time since then. But we have two minutes to get back uh, to the office, and you know that supervisor's gonna girl, kill. Girl, I wanna quit, but then I ask myself, what would Jesus do? <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for this cake, man, it was, it was really good. Glad you liked it. You know, you're, you're a good man. Look, I don't want to pry or judge or anything like that, but what's your story? You know, I, I haven't always been like this. You know, uh, I used to have a house, <coughs> car, and family, and a job, a good job. I worked hard at my job, real hard, lots of, lots of long days. And Late nights, and I worked with this chick, man, and she, she wanted my job, man. She wanted the job that I wanted, you know, and one of them nights, yeah, I don't know what you want to call it, a bad decision, or, um, I mean, what, anyway, next thing I know, she runs the HR, and I get fired. And you know, she lost the house and the, and the car, and wife ran out on me and took the kids. And you know, she, I'm sorry. I am. I'm sorry. I can't imagine what you had to go through, and I'm sorry that you did. But you know, there is still hope in Jesus. And it's, and bringing all this up, and it's just too much. Just, it may be too much for you, but it's not too much for him. I still want to think about it before it hurts too much. Well, he can take that pain away from you. I just don't want to think more. He can take that away from you, too. Since the, last, since the last time you were in church? Uh, no, I just. Well, that's all right. God is everywhere. Just too much, too much. It's too much for you, it's not too much for him. Oh, I have to do so many things. I still have to get groceries and make the gifts for the pastor's kids. Sorry. And he'll make a Hey, Mr. D, how are you? I'm fine, well, how are you? Um, I've got a big question for you. Okay. Aunt Sally, remember her last year? Sure. She, she loves your cake. <laughs> Okay, and she's coming this year. And she's coming, and I'm late asking you. You're going to be able to have one for me. A uh, fruit cake. A uh, fruit cake. Okay. Well, I make my orders, but we see. Yeah, I can make me one because I still got time here to sell another one. Okay. All right, come on to the shop. All right, thank I'll be you back so in. much. to be around here somewhere. Uh, let's see. This stupid GPS is always messing me up in around here in this place town. There's the bakery. Ah, smell the food very much. Oh, maybe I'll stop by later and get some. Maybe some apple pizza too. Maybe a hot cup of coffee. I don't know. It's kind of cold out here. Man, what do you know? I left my jacket in the car. Now I'm freezing. Let's see. Oh, Excuse me, sir, do you know? Bob? Is that really you? I haven't seen you in like ages. What have you been doing? Do I know you? Yeah, you know me. I'm, I'm Rick. You should call me 
we used to hang around on 7th Street and he'd call me, uh, what was that? Grumpy Rick. Grumpy Rick, Grumpy Rick, Grumpy Rick, Grumpy Rick. Grumpy Rick, oh man, you don't even look the same. I'd have never recognized you. Yeah, do you mind if I sit down? Yeah, yeah, take a load off, take a load off. Hey man, thanks man. So how you been? Yeah, yeah, okay. About the same. I see. Hey, you remember, remember a girl named Angie? The one that used to help the homeless and, and all that? Yeah, yeah, I remember her, man. She, she was a real sweetheart. Yeah, well, she did have some problems. She uh, started talking to me about, you know, being depressed and all that stuff. And, you know, uh, and... man, shut up. Not her, man. Yep, yeah, no. yep. Yeah, she, uh, she was so depressed, they had to put her in a cuckoo hospital for a couple of months just so she could sort yeah, out her... I never thought that about her. She was... She was great. Trust me, I, I thought the same thing. But you know, it's, it's had her work. All that her depression and everything else. And then she said that she found Jesus and she found hope and joy. And I kind of needed that too, because I was in the same boat almost as you are. My, my mom and dad disowned me. My sister wouldn't talk to me. I got disinherited. I lost a lot of money. I was almost homeless like you were. <sighs> then I went, then I went, to, then I joined the military. <coughs> thought that I could do good there. Saw the wounded. I was so angry at it, the world and all that. I came home. I thought that would help. It, I was still angry. I got myself a wife, been married 19 years, and she suddenly passed away. I was so mad. But then I remember what Angie told me. She goes, always trust in Jesus. I gave my life to Jesus. Now look at me. I'm a new creature. I'm happy. I, I never recognize you. you. You don't even look the same. Yeah, I know, but you know, you can you can smile too. I can't stop smiling. I live with my granddaughter now. I have found joy and peace. Oh man, you gotta have Jesus, man. Uh, he, he don't want nothing to do with me. I mean, he, look at me, seriously. He, he can't even hear me right now. Trust me, all you gotta do is call out his name like I did, and then all of a sudden, I got transformed. Look, I'm a new, I feel so happy, man. And this is the only thing that loves me anymore. Oh man, that's temporary. Man, that's just taking away all your joy and everything else to make you more depressed. Easy there, buddy. You okay? But I don't have to think anymore. Ah. Um, excuse me. Ma'am? Didn't I hire you two hours ago? I'm Do sorry. you not see all these flowers that have to get delivered to my lady friends and all my church friends, and you're just out here gabbing with Mr. Bum? Uh, I paid you good money, sir. You need to hurry up. And why are you still here? I told you you needed to be gone in the next hour, and you're still sitting here just smelling up the place. You know, you know, there's, there's this great new lipstick that you want to try. Uh, what was it called? Um, oh yeah, super glue. <gasps> How? Rick, look, Rick, you need to come on before I really lose it with this man. I, I am not going to be in the Christmas spirit with him out here any longer. Get them. <laughs> peace like that, but they flocked to her church. They did. <laughs> Mom, let's go get some cookies. There's the best cookies. Sometimes when they're hot, they'll even give us free samples. What is that smell? <laughs> is there a landfill nearby? Mm, it smells worse than your room. Stop, 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 stop. I think it's him. When do you think the last time he showered? Ugh. I don't think he showered in weeks. Guys, shut up. Stop talking. Yeah, he does. But I feel kind of bad for him. 
Did you know Uncle Tim was homeless just like him? What? How come I didn't know? Yeah, he was a drug addict and living on the streets for a while. You never know what they're going through. Yeah, but maybe we can buy him some deodorant <gasps> and cologne and a toothbrush and a large slice. A large slice. Sa okay, Santa. How about first we ask him if he's okay? Well, what if he doesn't want to be bothered? He's what what if he gets fat? We're gonna find out. <laughs> Sir? Take what you want. Just leave the beer. Sir, I'm underage. But we're not here to take your beer or anything else. We just want to know if you're okay. I am. I am. Do you need anything, sir? You got any spare change? Oh, I think I have just a little left. Yeah, there you go. Well, thank you. Thank you. Uh, that'll help. Thanks, sir. You got this. Thank you. That's. That's kind of you. Appreciate it. No worries. Merry Christmas. Thank you. Merry, Merry yeah. Christmas. Yeah. Merry, Merry Christmas. Christmas. Now I'm coming to pay for my cookies. <gasps> Did you really give all your money to that guy? Yeah, I felt bad for him. <gasps> I think I still have enough to pay for yours. For real? Yeah. Thanks, man. Do you have me too? Maddie, didn't you bring money? Yeah. I did. You know what? You're right. I'm truly moved. So out of the goodness of my heart, I will know. Get inside. <gasps> it's worth the shot. Right. Well, thank you, Mr. B. I owe you one.
greatest gift of all, your son, Jesus Christ. Thank you, Lord God, for the gift of salvation. Lord God, I thank you that you have the power to heal every sickness and every disease, that you have the power to break every curse. Lord God, I just want to say thank you. Holy Spirit, you woke me up from a dream. And in that dream, Rose was bound in chains, and the enemy had full control over her. But God, you commanded me to decree and declare your word over her. And I did so by saying, whom the sun sets free is free indeed. And immediately the chains fell to the ground and the enemy flees. God, I decree and declare that every spirit of depression must go in Jesus' name. Yes. I decree and declare. Oh, my. 